everyone. So I haven't done a jewel mint haul in a really long time um, and I recently just kind of got back into the kick of getting into jewel mint and they did change their system up a little bit and their packaging as well so I'd like to talk about that. So first thing is jewel mint now has come out with a rewards point program. So what it is you earn points for your purchases and I believe it's 4,000 points. You can get like a free jewel mint piece credit. Um, so the good thing about this system is that it links between all the mints. Um, so like the Intimints, the Style Mint, the Shoe Mint, whatever purchase you make between any of these, the points actually um, gather up and you can use it like all over. So um, obviously it depends on what you're buying. So Schumann's going to require more points for the credit. Um, so I think that's really great um, that they do that and it's probably also bringing in a lot of business. Um, uh, Schumann, sorry, excuse me. Jumint has also um, brought out a couple more promos, which I thought was nice because they had a sale that was, if you buy two pieces, um, you get $15 off, which is kind of like buy one, get one half off. Um, and then they also came up with a buy one, get one free sale for, I think, like a day for their Facebook fans. So definitely follow them or like them on Facebook. Um, they come out with great deals and they also show you the new pieces that they're going to bring out. Um, I haven't bought from them in a very very long time and there's only certain pieces that I really 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 love and stand by by Jewel Mint um, and one of them is being the Forever Audrey earrings that I'm wearing today um, I really really love this piece it's very elegant and classic and it's also really really well made so um, I did purchase quite a few pieces from the November collection um, I think it's like end of October slash um, beginning of November collection. So I want to show you um, the pieces that I like. I do want to mention though that one of the pieces I did return because I was not happy with it and it is the Wild Thorn bracelet. It is the bracelet that's leather like and it has like a creamy color. Um, and then there's like three little studs on it and um, what I did not like about the piece was that it was very flimsy. I felt that it was very cheaply made and it just looks very structured on the website, but when you get it in person, it was just not, it was just not impressive. Um, and I felt like it was very dull. It didn't stand out, and um, I definitely wanted something better. So I returned it, um, and I had no problems with it. They have a very, very great customer service, and they respond to you very quickly. So let's just get into it before I start yakking away. Um, while I'm on that topic of pieces I do not like, um, I want to talk about another one that I was very disappointed in. Um, I just didn't, maybe it works for you, but it's just not for me. Um, it's the Crystal Corsage bracelet, and I want to talk about the packaging as well. It comes in a black box now compared to the old one, which was like a mint color. Um, and one thing I also noticed is that some of the boxes, they no longer come with the jewelry piece um, statement, like with the name that it used to. It just says, like, shopping got personal. So, just wanted to take note on that. But this is the Crystal Corsage bracelet that I wasn't too fond of, and I will be sending back, but I wanted to show you before I do. So, it looks like this, um, but... I'm unhappy with the clasp. It's very difficult to get on and off, um, especially when, like, I'm ha I have the hardest time getting this on and off. Maybe it's just me. Um, and then I just don't find myself wearing it enough. Like, I can't find any pieces that it will go along with in my wardrobe anyway. And then it's it's a bit loose on my wrist, you know. So it like kind of falls off and sometimes the flowers flips over like this. It's just not something that I am overly excited about. Um, so if you wanted to see it in person, it's this is what it would look like. Um, I'm not too fond of this piece. I feel like it's very cheap and I don't know, kind of flimsy. So I have a hard time getting the clasp. So I'm going to be returning this back to Jewel Mint. You know what? I can't even get this thing off. It's it's awful. Ugh. All right. Well, I'm just gonna have to leave this on because I I have a difficult time getting these off. But now on to the pieces that I really do enjoy. 
And while I'm on the topic of bracelets, um, I picked up, this is a, a bring back, and it is the Cinema Americano bracelet. I love this. It's in gold. I don't have any gold bracelets. Um, so I really, really like this bracelet, and I think it's nice quality. Um, some people said that it's very cheap and flimsy, but it's got amount of weight to it where it's, you know, it's not going to break or anything. And I guess some people might have had a manufacturer problem with their piece, but this one's absolutely wonderful, and I love this. And also, I picked up the Cinema Classic. So I picked up the silver version of the Cinema Americano. And it's because I do wear a lot of silver and gunmetal, so this was a nice piece that I loved. And then I also picked up the Raven bracelet, which is the... I think it's Hematite version of the Golden Goose, which I missed out on. Um, I actually bought it, but the package got stolen, and it was sold out by that time, so I couldn't get it back. So I picked up this piece, and I really like the two going together. Um, I actually pair it with my Marc Jacobs Gunmetal watch, and I have a picture of it on Instagram, so definitely follow me on Instagram. Um, so I really, really enjoy wearing these all together. And if you can't tell, the Raven bracelet, um, it has these rhinestones on it. One thing I do want to note is that I've noticed I wore it for like two days, and the gunmetal color kind of comes off on the sides of these shapes, the like tooth, um, just on the ridges, like the corners. So I do want to keep note, and I have um, read on their Facebook page that a lot of people have had problems when they got it. I think it was like a manufacturer problem when they made it, that their piece was looks like a dog bitten on it, or the rhinestones weren't there. But the thing is, the bracelet sold out so fast that it wasn't like they could replace it for you. So that's one downside of this bracelet. My goodness, I still can't get this piece off. I don't know why I have such a hard, difficult time. It's just bothering me. I'm sorry. Okay, so that was it as far as bracelets go. And now I will talk about earrings. So I will take off my Forever Audrey earring, which also seems to be a very popular earring. If they ever bring it back, I swear it's going to sell out within like the couple first couple hours. But I did pick up another pair of similar. This is the Flabella um, Royal. So it's the gold version of what the Flabella used to be. And I really like this because the quality of it reminds me of the Forever Audrey. It's a studded piece that definitely stands out and looks gorgeous whenever you have your hair up. So every time I tie up my hair for work, um, I like to wear these kind of big studs that stand out. And I like this because it's gold and I don't have a lot of gold jewelry. The quality of it is really nice. I have not had any problems with this piece. So I definitely recommend this if you're looking to get some nice earrings. And then another piece that I really enjoy and I don't think a lot of people have mentioned are... This is the Fleur. Oh my gosh. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure these are still up. On the website if you want to take a look. It's the gold version. They came out with a silver one a while ago so they brought it back in gold which I thought was really nice. If I can get it in my ear loop. Alright and this looks really nice with your hair down because it stands out a little. I think the little blue little gem right there is really really cute. So again if I can show you a little more closely. Okay so that is this one and I really like these because they're very elegant and they're not too too long I think they're just the right length and they look really really nice I love these pieces from Jewel Mint um, and I definitely recommend these ones because um, I've worn them and Jewel Mint I mean it's $29.99 but a lot of times you can find good deals and then they came out with an app now and the cool thing about the app is that they have like a deal every day or two days you can shake it or press this button and it'll give you an exclusive offer for this one piece um, and then you could just keep doing it until it, they give you the offer for the piece that you like 
um, and then every time you purchase you get points and that points goes through other credits which is excellent so if you don't know much about jewel mint i will link my previous video explaining more about it um somewhere around here and I don't want to get too much in depth into it. It was mostly about the pieces and my haul. And thank you so much. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.